Hello my friends, Ipmolik is here to help you guys get back to Windows 10 if you are not satisfied with the latest version of Windows 11, or if your computer is lagging or slow and doesn't work well after the update, and therefore you want to go back to Windows 10. This method is for those who have upgraded to Windows 11 without losing data and less than 10 days have passed since the upgrade. But if you bought a computer with Windows 11 or more than 10 days have passed since the upgrade of Windows 10 to Windows 11, then you need another method, the link is in the description of my video. Click, Start, then, Settings. In this window, open the System section. Scroll down and open the System Information tab. Here we see that my computer has the new Windows 11, the latest version. To return to Windows 10, click on the System section again, then open the Recovery tab. And if you are ready to return to Windows 10, click, Go Back. In this window, you can leave your feedback on the new Windows 11, and indicate the reason for your decision to return to Windows 10. Next. I will receive updates later, and I will click, No, Thanks. Here you need to carefully read all the recommendations and follow them. Next. This window also contains an important message, you need to remember or find the password for your Windows 10, otherwise after the process is completed, your computer may be locked. Next. The system tells us that if after some time you decide to update your computer to Windows 11, then it will not be difficult at all, I click, go back to Windows 10, and the transition process has begun. Now we do not need to do anything, but just wait for the update to complete. Returning to Windows 10 will not take long, it will last about 10 minutes. Please do not turn off the computer. The login lock screen opened, and now we see the successful completion of the process. I hope everything goes well for you too. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you can make sure that all the shortcuts of different applications, just like in Windows 11, remained on the taskbar unchanged. There are folders with photos, videos and other files on my desktop, which means that the process was completed successfully and without data loss. Let's look at the specification of my operating system. Yes, Windows 10 Pro is installed on my computer again, and it is exactly the same as it was originally. Now I will check the system activation. Everything is fine here and my Windows 10 Pro is activated according to my digital license. I hope that today you learned something new and useful for yourself again. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Have a nice day everyone. Thank you.